What is up everybody, Northside here. Well, with the launch of Module 22 and after almost two years of waiting, I think, uh, more or less, majority of player base rightfully expect a new Mythic Trial weapon with maybe interesting set bonus, something different, something better. At last. The weapons are literally copy-paste of old, quote-unquote, old Ma Master's Ariel weapons with few additions that I will go through in this video, obviously from a barbarian perspective, because I am a barbarian in the game. Mind you, these weapons can be useful for other classes, so make sure to leave me in the comment section what and how you feel, personally feel, about it from your perspective. Maybe Warlock, maybe Wizard, Hunter Ranger, etc. I will also leave a forum topic for my friend Aster from Shinigami Gil, shout out to you guys and girls, where you can leave your comments and suggestions. When we place these two trial weapons side by side, we can clearly see copy paste from all Master's Ariel weapons, only with increased requirements of stacks from 5 to 6, and duration is increased from 15 to 20 seconds. They also added, I guess, not to be to completely copy paste bonuses for DPS roll, tank, and healer classes roll. We are still unsure if these bonuses will go up to 6% or stay at 1% until we get a hold of these weapons, so keep that in mind. Now, as I said, from a Barbarian perspective, uh, we got three encounters. For, for example, I use IBS, Frenzy, and Bloodletter. And I would be struggling with these cooldowns to reach those stacks in a trial environment or different environment. Just like with Zariel weapons, we have to move, sprint, or end position ourselves, and the uh, timer is ticking. So those 20 seconds are ticking. And that's a very important thing to say. Prerequisite to proc the damage is now 6 stacks from 5 to Zariel was already too much. And those extra 5 seconds from 15 to 20 will hardly help, trust me on this. But the biggest handicap of this weapon is that we don't get our damage bonus when we start the fight or combat. We have to work our way to build those stacks and get 7.5% damage or for tanks damage reduction and healers, healers 7.5 outgoing healing. Why would we even consider these weapons if we can use weapons from old modules like Lionheart that gives 7.5% damage and or, or outgoing healing? So I see healers will stick to this set probably, 99%. Clerics, tell me what you think in the comment section. Furthermore, we have Mirage weapon set that requires only use of one encounter power in order to proc the clones and Mirage is still best single target DPS set to date and I won't replace him with new one if he stays like this, no way in hell. Not to forget also the Masterwork set. Masterwork set, very useful, as it gives straight off the bat 2% alone when you're alone. Damage even better if entire party use it up to 10% damage and outgoing healing. So, in all honesty, this was done very lazy, very sloppy, and the only useful thing I see for me, my class personally is just the look of it, as it, the transmute is very, very pretty. So I give the visual team again kudos, however, as I said, mod 22, uh, the visual, visually is pretty, but visuals without uh, substance is close or is next to zero. So, thank you for watching, this was Northside, just my two cents about the new weapons, make sure to check the link in the description and the pinned comment, and leave your comments on the forum if you wish these weapons to be adjusted and give some advices like to, to give us example for straight up damage or whatever just this is a pure copy paste with some additions so it, it's not all totally 100 percent copy paste so thank you for watching this was Northside, and shout out to my channel members and Northside is out